The materials that were utilized to build sturdy residences, workplaces, and recreational facilities are broken apart during the building deconstruction. In fact, some structures are purposely demolished before they can withstand the test of time. But certain building materials are specifically chosen to withstand severe weather and endure for many decades. Welcome back to the Lux Luxury Channel, where we give luxurious videos just for you. For today's video, I'll walk you through the incredible demolition of the tallest buildings in the world. So if you want to know all the buildings included on the list, make sure to watch this video until the end. But before going through the list, kindly show some support by subscribing to this channel and smashing that notification bell beside it to be updated whenever we post new videos. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Number 8. Ocean Tower Demolition Because some of Ocean Tower condominium have sunk almost 16 inches, splitting beams and columns, it has been termed the Leaning Tower of South Padre instead of being the highest edifice of luxury living in Rio Grande. Due to load redistribution and structural element overload, this resulted in escalating levels of structural system damage. Due to the threat to public safety and potential for partial collapse, construction stopped right away. Walter P. Moore conducted a thorough review as part of the forensic investigation and used computer modeling to understand the cost of failure and forecast upcoming structural element collapse. The tower imploded before construction was complete, according to investigative findings. Number 7. Landmark Tower Demolition Preston M. Jaron and Associates of Fort Worth created a 30-story structure which was constructed twice. When the economy crashed in the early 1950s, construction was put on hold. The structure had to be altered to accommodate the timepiece which necessitated replacing the brick with aluminum curtain walls. The sign was previously the largest four-sided sign, largest digital clock, and largest revolving clock in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. When the storm struck on March 28, 2000, the structure was severely damaged. The city of Fort Worth issued an order for the clock to be taken down from April 15 to 21 of 2000. In January 2004, XTO Energy bought the building after this project filed for bankruptcy. The corporation looked into every possibility of renovating, recladding, and reconstruction around the structure, but ultimately decided that demolishing it would be the wisest course of action. Number 6. AFE Tower Demolition The 116-meter AFE Tower has been a landmark of the Frankfurt Johann Wolfgang Goethe Buckingham University's campus for more than 40 years. From 1972 to 1975, the first three years of its existence, it was Frankfurt's tallest structure. It was the 21st tallest for a brief period of time before it was finally destroyed at 10 o'clock a.m. on Sunday, February 2, 2014 by a succession of carefully timed explosions. A few months prior to the building being torn down, some resourceful street painters took the paints to spray paint the name Elfenbein across the top of the structure. This university edifice was unofficially dubbed the Ivory Tower since Elfenbein means ivory. The AFE demolition towers was the biggest inner city controlled blasting Europe has ever seen. The high rise was obliterated in a matter of seconds, according to the construction industry website Empress.com. Number 5. Building in Xi'an City In the Chinese city of Xi'an, a 38-7-foot-tall structure was destroyed in 15 seconds after being filled with 12,000 detonators and 1.4 tons of explosives. According to the People's Daily Online, the 26-story building was the tallest to be demolished in China. The local government estimated that cleaning up the explosion's 66-foot-high pile of debris will take about 70 days. The building's construction began in 1996 and was finished in 1999. However, only the facade was constructed, the interiors were never finished or furnished. The owner of the building had abandoned it ever since for reasons that were still a mystery. Local reports state that four years after selling the land to an undisclosed buyer in 2009, 
the pharmaceutical factory left the neighborhood. The public and media in China have been quite critical of the building's demolition. Many believe it to be a waste of resources and money. Number 4. J.L. Hudson's Department Store The enormous Hudson's Department Store at Woodward and Gatriot Avenues, which grew alongside Motor City until it was the tallest department store in the world, was simply immense. The store eventually reached a size that was nearly unbelievable. Its 2,124,316 square feet made it the second largest department store behind only Macy's in New York. With 32 stories and a height of 410 feet, Hudson's was the world's tallest department store. On a staggering 49 acres of floor space, Hudson's offered more than 200 departments with around 600,000 items from 16,000 merchants. After operating in the downtown area for more than 90 years, the chain closed its doors on January 17, 1983. Around 1,200 people continued to work at the company's corporate headquarters, which were still located at the big store. That is, until 1990, when a Windsor firm purchased the structure. At this point, the large, well-known monument began to deteriorate into a huge eyesore, more famous for its trespassers and smashed windows rather than for its large sales and Santa Claus. Number 3. Brayton Point Power Station The Brayton Point Power Station, one of the remaining coal-fired power plants in New England, can be seen on a hazy day on May 31, 2017 in Somerset, Massachusetts. Before permanently shutting down in 2017, the plant along Mount Hope Bay started producing power in the 1960s. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the Brayton Point Power Station's pollutants cost 472 asthma attacks, 61 heart attacks, and 32 fatalities in the counties nearby each year. Upper Narragansett Bay was said to have become warmer due to the power plant. In order to enforce pollution control measures, Save the Bay sued the EPA. Dominion Energy, the property's previous owner, agreed to construct the cooling towers in exchange for $507 million. Additionally, Save the Bay claimed that the thermal pollution or heated water that the power plant discharged into Mount Hope Bay harmed the ecology. At its height, a billion gallons of hot water were pushed into the Taunton River and Bay every day, which led to an 87% decline in the variety of fish, including winter flounder. Number 2. Mina Plaza Mina Plaza, one of Abu Dhabi's landmark structures, has been scheduled for removal 13 years after construction on it began. Three housing towers and an office building make up the 246,500 square meter property, whose construction started in 2007 but was twice put on hold before being abandoned in 2015. The demolition will revitalize the region in line with the new vision for the port area it was learned. The Mina Plaza was designed to provide luxury including a private medical center, a covered spa, and a sun terrace with a helipad. However, Due to a disagreement between the project's owners and builders, work was halted in November 2012. Number 1. Power Station Westerholt At Victoria's decommissioned coal-fired Hazelwood Power Facility, eight chimneys have been destroyed. The chimneys, which rose 137 meters above the Latrobe Valley town of Morwell, fell down on Monday just before noon. Thousands of people saw the chimney demolition which was live-streamed by the owner, Engie, and lasted for roughly a minute. Engie stated that its long-term objective was to restore the 4,000-hectare property, which has caused problems for the Latrobe Valley community ever since a blaze reached the coal mine in 2014 and burned there for 45 days. Moreover, the power plant employed 750 workers in the Latrobe Valley and generated around 25% of Victoria's electricity. It was also renowned as Australia's dirtiest power plant, accounting for 14% of all emissions in the state, which Engie stated as the cause for the shutdown. So, what are your thoughts about these incredible demolitions of the tallest buildings in the world? Which among the demolished buildings do you find the most interesting? Let me know your answer on the comment section below. Well, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be updated whenever we post new videos.
If you want more videos like this one, you can always check out our other videos by visiting our channel. As always, this is the Lux Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.